It's the National Football League on EA Sports, where London will play host to a different kind of football. It's the New York Giants and the Cleveland Browns, and it's coming up next. Now for a stadium that's hosted NFL games since 2007, the International Series continues inside iconic Wembley Stadium, the capital city of London, England, hosting the NFL again. Mike Tirico, Greg Olson, glad to have you in the booth with us here on EA Sports. Greg, this one of the... veteran kicker Graham Gano puts it on the tee and off we go here in London this taken in at the eight yard line and it'll be brought down past the 25 decent field position to start this drop first and ten they'll run this is Jerome Ford and that play gets nothing. So no game on the game's first snap. We'll try again. It's second and ten. They'll run once more with four. And he'll get about five past the 30-yard line. Here's a third down and four. Out of the gun, Watson. Pressure gets there, and down he goes. The best thing they did here, Mike, is keep their rush lane integrity. What that means is you have to rush the quarterback as a unit. Keep him in the pocket. Keep him on that X. And when you do, man, he becomes a sitting duck for this pass rush. On the return, Olszewski. And it's a good, solid return as he takes it back up near midfield. Throwing on the first play is Jones. Back to the rookie from LSU, Malik Davis. And he's taken down inside the opponent's 35. On first and 10, here's Jones. He'll get that to the former volunteer, Jalen Hyatt. A pickup of 12 yards. That's good for a Giants first down. Here's the man signs from Houston. It's Devin Singletary. And a strong first down run. A pickup of nine. Setting up second and short. Now Jones on the bootleg. Connects with his big tight end, Manhurts. And this drive's going to continue. He's taken down, but they are set up with first and goal. So that'll do it. This opening drive, it has been a work of art. Now, can they put the finishing touches on? It's first and goal. On the bootleg, he'll look to throw. Quick throw, taken in. And this one's blown up. It's back at the five-yard line now. The task a bit tougher as they face second and goal. In motion, it's Robinson. They'll get creative here on the jet sweep. Looking for a seam, but will not find one. He'll take this down to the four-yard line. Third and goal. Now, Jones. To the end zone. It's intercepted. Picked off by Greg Newsom. The drive begins at the 20. Here's first and 10. 
From the shotgun, here's Watson. And the rush gets home. He'll go down. They got him. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. Shotgun snap to Watson. He's got his man, the tight end, David Njoku. Well, they'll get some of the sack yardage back, but it's still going to leave them with third down. Here's Watson. And they will continue to go backwards. He's taken down for a sack. And the Giants here will use the first of their timeouts. This will be returned from the other side of midfield. And it's a good return here. Able to take it across the 50. Set up the offense with a short field. The Giants offense about ready to get going on their second possession. They'll start with a short field looking for the first point to this contest. And they'll begin first and ten. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. They'll try again here. Second and ten. Shotgun now for Jones. Quick slant, looked in by Neighbors. And he will score. Malik Neighbors. Touchdown, Giants. And this is what good offenses in the NFL do, Mike. It's the ability to bounce back, even if the onset of the game doesn't go exactly according to plan. Everybody wants to take their opening possession and go down there and come away with a touchdown but it's not always gonna be perfect. You turn it over on possession one. What are you gonna do in response on possession two? Well, we just got our answer and they took it down for six. This will be returned from the six. Across the 20, they'll mark them down before the 25 yard line. And that's where the offense will take over. Now it's the Browns turn as they get set to take over again on offense. They'll be hoping to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 our score as this drive begins with a first down. The Browns going to use the first of their timeouts here. And they'll get together prior to this second down play. Throwing is Watson. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Watson. Taking off, he'll try to get there. So, first and 10 here now at the 38. He's got his tight end down the field. That's the Joku. Now we'll get a timeout, Cleveland. That's their second as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining here in half number one. Off he goes. And he'll be taken down at the 25-yard line. Set to go now on first and 10. Now Watson. A throw. Right side taken by Njoku. They'll work now on second and four. They'll go right back to Njoku. He's got it again. And the Browns are going to be set up with a first and goal now. Tackle made at the nine. Hopkins' kick is good. And the Browns are on the board. And hold that thought. Let's get right back to it. We are ready for the third quarter. Pretty interesting first half. We'll see if any strategy changes for the next 30 minutes or more as this second half gets underway. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The Giants offense going to have a first crack at it as we begin this third quarter. The lead sits at four. So he'll try to add on to that. 
This drive begins with first and ten. As a route runner, once you identify zone coverage like they were playing here, the key is find open space and stay in it. He did a nice job here because that was not a big hole. The quarterback had to put a little extra on that one, and they were able to make the completion. That's complete. It's Malik Neighbors. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. They go three tight ends here on first and ten. They'll run straight ahead with Singletary. And he'll get about five. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. Working from the gun, it's Jones. Open man downfield. That's Neighbors. Remember, he had the touchdown catch the last time they had the football. Here, he's got a first down. Here's Jones. It is brought in in the end zone. Jalen Hyatt. Touchdown, New York. What separates the really good quarterbacks from everybody else in the National Football League, Mike, is not only ability to process, but the ability to process quickly under pressure. And I think that's exactly the case here. He's able to go through his progression, find his target in the end zone, and then deliver that ball on time accurately, and the result is a touchdown. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. From the six, here comes a return. And he's brought down right at the 25. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. To throw is Watson. That one into the hands of Moore downfield. Love to start any drive like that. 18 on the first play. And a first down. Here's four. And he'll get this up to the 44. Micah McFadden, the linebacker, there on the tackle. Here's second and nine. Now it's Watson. That's over the middle to his tight end, Njoku. And he'll be marked down at the 45-yard line. That's good for a Browns first down. First and 10. On first down, Watson. Throw left side, but that's going to be incomplete. Now a handoff to Ford. And once again, they try the same runner. They get the same result. Back-to-back -back carries of no game. Now it's third down. Out of the gun, Watson. And he's going to be taken down. They get him for the sack at the end of this third quarter. Trailing late. They've got to go here. It's fourth down. They snap it to Watson. Ho oh, ho! And he is out of bounds. Well shy of the marker. That's going to be a turnover on down. On first down, Jones. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. A rare miss for a quarterback that we've seen really come out on fire throughout this entire contest. I mean, his completion percentage, Mike, is well above league average. And frankly, it's really the biggest reason why they find themselves out in front. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. An interesting decision there by the play caller to put this ball in the air. Mike, you're up by two scores. Traditional wisdom says, hey, we're up by two scores late in the fourth quarter. We've got to keep this clock moving. We don't want to risk an incompletion. Now, they convert. They're able to secure the catch and pick up a fresh set of downs. 
That's going to enable them to continue to burn more clock. And without a stop, their opponent's not going to get the ball back. And he's close to the first down. Gets four yards on the game, but it will bring up third down. You've got to consider this an absolute must-stop defensively. It's third down. He'll try and run for the first with Singletary. And he'll be taken down as the clock ticks towards two minutes to play. What a pickup, a gain of 18. And it sets up first and goal. They'll run here with Singletary. Marked down at the six. So right out of the two-minute break, we get a timeout used by the defense with a minute 56 to go. Again, it'll be Singletary. Hard running close to the goal line, but they're going to mark him just short. This would go a long way to sealing this one. Third and a yard. And that big offensive line clearing space. He's in. Devin Singletary. Touchdown, New York. Extra point by Gano is up and good. And the Giants move out to a 21-3 advantage. Both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. He fields it at the 8. He's across the 20, taken down just shy of the 25. The Browns' offense starting to trot out for this next possession. Things not looking good. But see if they get the turnaround going here. They'll start this drive with first down. This is one of those situations that plays directly into the hands of the defense because think, Mike, they know this offense has to be one-dimensional. This has to be a pass. So what do they do? They bring in extra defensive backs. They clog up the back end. And at the end of the... And he's going to go down yet again. He has been under fire all game long. That is incomplete. Well read that time defensively, making it difficult downfield. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Here's Watson. Going deep downfield for Judy. And his offense is going to be all set up with a short field and a chance to extend their lead. So anytime you're really sensing pass, Mike, the first thing you want to do, flood the field with defensive backs. Good things typically happen. I mean, that's a great call there by the defensive coordinator to counter that play, because no matter where that ball was going, they had someone in the neighborhood who had a shot of making the play and getting them off the field. Lost one on the last play, so now it's second and 11. On second down, it's Singletary. And he'll take this ahead for a gain of about five. And here comes third down. And the Giants here will use the first of their timeouts. And they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in this one. On third down, here's Singletary. Singletary, a first down and more. And all you can do at this point, Mike, is just really marvel at how well he's been able to run the ball and... Throughout the course of the game, they've certainly not been shy in giving it to him, and I think he's held up his side of the bargain. One final kneel down here inside the 40-second mark. Should be enough to put this one on ice. And they just took a timeout with two seconds to go. This one's decided. Not sure they needed to take the timeout, but 
take it with him. On fourth down, the veteran Graham Gano for the Giants field goal try. This from extra point range, a 33 yard field goal attempt. Gano's kick is good. And the Giants will extend their lead. So it's a win for the men in blue. The Giants get it done. They didn't quite get the shutout they were hoping for and likely deserve. This was a tremendous defensive performance. They held the other guys to just a field goal. That's all. And that defensive unit was the driving force in this victory. So that'll do it for us. For Greg Olson and our terrific team behind the scenes, I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Follow us on X at EA Madden NFL. So long from London.